everyone, it's me, Laura, from The Papered Soul, and I am coming to you to share a design team project for Elsie Bell's bookshelf, and this will be my project for March. I'm working on the Soul Garden uh, digital kit that she has created, and I'm going to be making a journal. I've already gotten um, two signatures kind of put together, but they're not sewn or anything. They're not embellished yet. I've just got the order of them. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to share some elements from her kit uh, and give you some ideas of some of the things that you can do with her pretty papers. The first thing I wanna say before I forget is um, she offers Ellie offers these as um, digital printables that you download, or she also has the option of a, a print and ship. So she will actually print them out for you if you have issues with printers or computers or you know inks and stuff like that. She'll print it out for you and send you the, the kit. So that's, she's offering a, a great option there. Um, so what I've done, since I'm making the journal for Soul Garden, it is a beautiful kit. I am actually gonna been working on some of the elements that I wanna put in my journal. So I thought I would just share, share some things with you all. So the first thing I'm gonna do, we'll talk about some of the elements. She has a lot of elements and ephemera in this kit that um, can just kinda get your creative juices going. Um, so I have already like cut them out, printed them out, cut them out. I'm just going to show you. I've already backed them with coffee dyed paper, done some sewing around these tags. So she just has, that has graph paper on it with a little flower down there. Um, she's got the tags. She's got cards. You know, they've got pretty flowers on them. This is the, her envelopes. I haven't sealed it up yet, so that's one of her little envelopes. Um, lots of fun little ephemera tickets. Um, she's got tabs, fun tabs that are really pretty. Like I say, I've backed all these with coffee dough paper already. I cut them out and just got busy. Um, like that one, I... Oops, there's a button. So I'm just gonna show you some of her fun little elements. So here she's got like little buttons that I even back these with coffee dye paper too. And I'll show you how I kind of use some of those. And she's got these fun little journal, teeny little journal spots you can do different things with. I think I've, oh, she's got this fun little torn she got a couple of these, and I used I use these, and I'll show you on how I used them. But um, it looks like a little piece of you know ripped cardboard that's just kind of wrinkled and torn and everything. Okay, so all kinds of tags. She's got little circles. Those are fun. We did some. I did some things with those. Oh, no, that's the way I do it. Okay, so I'm just showing you. She even had like. Oh, let me show you these little tickets. She's got little pink tickets. She's got little pieces of um, like tape, torn tape. I even backed that one. So I backed every little item with my coffee dyed paper because I, you know, you don't have to do that, but I do it because I like when I'm holding it. I want it to, whatever I've got a hold of, I want it to feel sturdy and not, you know, get worn that easily as you use your journals. So I'm gonna put this, back in my little bag here I'm trying to keep all that together so we'll start with the embell some of the little embellishments that I just showed you and I'm gonna show you a few little things that I did um, so the little circle um, tags that she had one I took it again backed it with coffee dyed paper um, sewed all around it and I made a little booklet out of it. So I just cut out different pieces of paper, um, my graph paper and coffee dyed papers and just made like little booklet, a booklet. You can probably, I double tied this, you could probably untie it, but my main goal here is really not to show you too much of, just to show you the basics of what I've done to kind of jumpstart your inspiration. And this is a beautiful kit to play with. So 
it's not so much about my embellishing that I will show you next month when I complete my journal but it's just give you some ideas of what you can do with the up uh, the pretty elements in her kit so that so you can make a booklet out of the little circle tag this one was a lot of fun um, again sewed around it and I just put I I put one of the smaller ones she has two sizes of circles in her kit and so I took the same one i actually enlarge these for so you can enlarge them or leave them the same size but that she does have two sizes in there and uh call i just think think of this as like a little kangaroo pocket um because it's the same the same tag that but smaller fitting in it and i made a little pocket back there with some paper and it's a flip up so you could actually journal on that and then i added some fibers and some bling so i just thought that was a cute little thing you could tuck in a pocket the um, little regular tag shapes that she has she's got some really pretty ones and I just did a quick little um, flower applique there tied and made a booklet out of this shape as well did some stamping and graph paper coffee dye papers and um, so you can write on the fronts and the backs of that paper. So that offers a lot of journaling spots. So you can turn these tags into little booklets, basically is what I was trying to <clears throat> get across. I took a, a bag here, and then I took one of her rectangular um, tags that she has. And it's got graph paper emulated on, the, on her background. So I just... Put it on one of my little graph paper bags here i thought that was cute i made i kind of glued it here and here it is sewn around uh you can i set it up such that you can put a pocket there so you can so you've got a pocket there and you can put things in there that way i plan on putting it in my journal this way so that you'll have space back here and you can put things in the bag so it's a dual same thing with this bag um, I have a, I just used a plain bag and I have a grid stamp that I just emulated that graph paper look to and I did it in pink. So this one would sit straight up and I just glued the tops, put the tag here so you can put something, do a little tuck there. And then of course in the bag and then the way I do it, I'll add more tuck, tuck area behind it. I made a belly band out of her elements. I thought this was really cute. So this will be ready to attach to a page. Um, and I, you actually could take these tickets. I was just decorating, but I sewed around them and everything, but you actually could just glue them like a pocket too and leave the top open so that you could put a little something in there. But on this particular one, I just glued them down for the, the fun decorative uh, part of it with her ephemera. So I thought that was pretty. I made, I love making this little flip shape um, where, you know, this is just coffee dye paper and I fold it like that. And I can do, you can, you can leave it like this or do add stuff in there, which I'm probably gonna do again. My video, this is not so much for me to show you things that I'm doing. You will see that in the next, when I make the completed journal. But I wanted to show you her cute little elements. So I showed you that little piece of cardboard that she had, and it's got a, like a little emulated piece of tape there. So it just looks real worn and vintagey. She had this little button piece and I actually threaded um, and sewed that little button on like a button would be. And then I added a little rosette there just for some fun. I'm gonna decorate this up more, but I just wanted to show you how cute that is. So that just keeps that closed. So that's just like a little tuck that I created with her elements. Okay, so that's the elements part, the ephemera part. I'm gonna show you what I did with some of her pretty pages. This is one of her pretty pages in the kit, and it's actually um, her ephemera page where you have the tickets, um, you have, these are envelopes, that's how I got my envelope shape. So she's got two envelopes lined out right there. The ticket, the little pink tickets that are so cute. Um, the thing about, her background pages that she, oh, there's little buttons right here too. So see, I cut some of those buttons out. So I did print this page out um, and 
I cut it totally up so that I could use all of these elements. But what I'm also doing for my journal is I love this page so much in and of itself because she's got all the floral, she's got like in a light gray, she's got little floral um, background to it. So it's so pretty just as a page, I'm gonna use it in my journal. So what I did is I printed this out front and back so that I can actually have this in my journal. I just thought it was so pretty, it was just a, like a collage page already done for you. Um, like I say, these are her little envelopes, so you know, when you fold them, you have like a little journal spot here. She's kind of faded out the, the background so you can still see the flowers, but you know, you can do some journaling there. So I just thought that was a pretty page in and of itself. So what I also did was I, I've already cut this up for the ephemera. I printed it out for a page in the journal and I have cut the page up and use this page to make some elements. So what I did, from that page I made two journal cards, okay? Two journal cards, and I made an envelope myself, which is like a three by three, I believe. Made that, and then I made me a little tag that kind of opens up, like a little tag booklet. So you can see where I sewed around that. So, so this is the part of the paper that I just showed you. And I, that, I, there was no waste. So what I did is I printed it out, cut the little white sides off, and then just the way I cut them, uh, I think I did an envelope first and then whatever I had left is how I just cut them up and then made four extra elements that can go into my journal. So um, this I just backed with um, my index card. I had a yellow and a green, so I thought I'd add some color. Already has the lines on it, so those are nice little journal cards, and they're already decorated for you. Then, of course, you've seen my tag, and I'm gonna embellish these some more, but we're gonna, that's not what this video is about. It is more, mostly about just showing you what you can do with Ellie's kit. So here, um, uh, is my envelope that I made, okay? I did do some stenciling in it. You can journal all in here. And then I just created a closure for this envelope. I'm not doing it right. I created a closure for this envelope with one of her ephemera embellishments there. And that tag, it's got the tag print out on here and I just thought I would make that more three-dimensional for you. Uh, and or dimensional and then I you know just put some bling and a little flower there so that's my envelope okay and it's a three by three so it's a little different size envelope from the ones that she's already established on that page all right then this is a page what I did is I shrunk it to 60% it's one of her journal pages and I'm gonna just open it up so that you can see it. And that, like I say, 60%. This says Beauty of the Earth, Enchanted Rose, just beautiful little images there. In the background, you might not be able to see it. It's got a real, um, like a, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Damask, a florally little background. Um, so it's real pretty. And I made a booklet out of this. So I made a little booklet. I added, I did some stenciling, got some ledger paper, coffee dye paper, my grid paper. Okay, that's gonna open up. And then on the back, I did a little little pocket. So I'm gonna use that in my journal. I made, I took another one of her pretty pages and I'm gonna show that to you. So that's her page. Like I say, it's gonna be in the journal as a full blown page. I shrunk this to 70%, and then I made another little booklet out of it. So I've got me a little pocket here, and then all the fun little goodie papers there. So that's two pages that I made two booklets out of. And then here is another pretty page. Again, it's going to, it is in my journal, um, and it's got lines on it like notebook paper and the pretty little taped, uh, little aged papers and little flower down. I mean, it's just beautiful. And then there's a little cardboard piece again. So it's here and then it's also down here. So um, here's the back 
I put a little sticky note from notes. This is the one in my journal. So this is another one of her pages that I put on the back of that. But what I did is made some elements of this page. So I not only have a journal page, but I made um, two floating journal uh, pockets out of this pa that page I just showed you. So <clears throat> this one, this side here, I made this this with. So there's the image. Um, it is it has been shrunk down a little bit. I can't remember what I shrunk it down to. And then I cut the bottom off of of this part and put it to the back. So there's lines there. You can journal on the, the back of that. I did add some washi tape to where she put her tape just to add a little pop of color. I'm gonna do a tutorial. I'm gonna be doing some tutorials on some of the items that I make. If any of you are interested in seeing any certain tutorials of anything you've seen in this video, let me know. Um, but I definitely think I'm gonna go ahead and do one of how I do my little pockets. I, um, I do, like I say, add um, coffee dye papers on the front and the back. So this is doubled, doubled up so that it's nice and thick and sturdy and I sewed around it and everything like that. So here's another pretty tag that I had sewn, I've sewn around and I'm able to put that in my little pocket. Here's another pretty tag from the kit. And I just made that into like a little extra journaling space there. So you can tuck that inside your little pocket. I will be adding bows and all the pretty stuff. So this side of the page, I did the same thing. I cut it in half. Again, it was shrunk down, but I cut it in half. You don't have to shrink it down if you don't want to. You'll have yourself a nice larger pocket. You can do any size as you want. And again, I just made my little my little pocket there. Sewed all around it. Got a pretty tag from her kit that I tucked in there. Extra little notebook paper there. I just thought that would be good to have some extra writing. So again, you can adhere these down. They don't have to be floating. Um, you can do partly wet, part way, and then have a, a, let me get me a little, and then just do a little, wet. let me get me a better one. <laughs> A better example and then just you know do a little tuck like that or I could put it in like that in the journal and then have even more tuck space on the actual page so see what I mean so I did that and the other element I wanted to show you this is another I'm gonna get a I printed it out on vellum so I printed one of her pages out on vellum instead of just regular paper I will cut around it I haven't done it yet Okay, but what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to cut this down and I'm gonna do a little tip in with it. So you'll be able to lift, I'm gonna bow, put a bow on it and you'll be able to lift it up on the page and do some journaling underneath and then you have that pretty image. Same thing with this side as well. So I'll be cutting that down. But just wanted to show you another option of how you can play with her, um, pages in her kit. So that is what I did. And it was a lot of fun just messing and playing around with all the wonderful elements in her kit. Um, it, it, like I said, it's really pretty. Um, I'm going to be adding a lot of things, you know, to my journals and things will be more embellished but it wasn't so much like I said about what I'm going to do embellishment wise but what you can do with her kit you know and how these things can start to um, inspire you and where you start making really cute creative things so I just wanted to share that um, so I thank you for joining me I hope that in some way this was an inspiration um, getting you inspired for making things and creating things and I can't wait to see what they look like in my journal um, so make sure that you check um, Ellie's shop out it's Elsie Bell's bookshelf she's on Etsy I will put the listing down below if I'm not mistaken she's got some sell prices going on right now so make sure if you love some of the colors and the beauty of these pages that you jump over there and try to snatch up Soul Garden it is on sale, I believe, right now. I just checked before I recorded this video. So I want to um, 
Thank everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please like, please comment. Let me know if you want to see any tutorials in the future. Um, and also I want to thank everyone for your support. Um, I do do giveaways. There was one we just had, so you may want to go ahead and just subscribe. You can also hit the button, the little bell button, and it will kind of alert you when I have new videos out. So anyway, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend, and I will be seeing you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.